Hey guys, it's Greg Tastic here, and I'm very happy today because I have I know this is nothing PC related, but I finally picked up a Nintendo Switch, and I have GameStop to thank for it. Amazingly enough, so I was happy to finally get a hold of one of these. Uh, I don't know if anybody else picked up on this, but around July 4th, uh, GameStop had a couple of promotions running. The first one was that if you traded in six games or more, you got like 60% extra credit for trading them in. And then that's on top of the 10% for being a Power Unlocked member. And then they also had a, a promotion where if you bought two used games, you get a third one free. So what base people were basically doing, and what I did, honestly, to tell you the truth, is either taking some games they had from home or going to the store and getting some games. Uh, the, the number one one being Plants vs. Zombies 2 and buying them for, like, it's a game that sells for, like, if you got it, could get it at Best Buy 16 with Gamers Club Unlocked and trades in at GameStop for, like, 40 bucks. So what you do is, or what they did is you take in the games or you buy games that can make a profit and then you trade them in. And obviously, uh, just that alone gives you a profit. But to maximize on this, what you do is you research games that if you were to trade, if you were to buy a GameStop and then trade back in, would also equal about the same amount as you paid for them. So say you buy, uh, you could buy three $30 games that trade back in for about $30. What you do is you buy the three and you get the third one free. So then when you uh, trade them back in, you're getting 30, 30, 30, three times, but you only spent 30, 30. You understand? You only spent 60, but you're getting 90 back. And if you do this enough times, like it starts to add up. So basically, I took some games I had at home and I went to Best Buy and spent about 80 bucks and ended the day with about $700 in uh, GameStop credit <laughs> off like that 80 bucks that I spent. And then what I did is I waited for this to come in stock because I really wanted it. And eventually, uh, a few days ago, I called GameStop because they were supposed to be getting a restock of it, and the guy answered the phone, and he said, GameStop, where we have Nintendo Switches in stock. And I said, uh, well, that's actually why I was calling you. And he said, uh, well, come on down, we got one for you. And I said, well, how many do you have? Because I'm 15 minutes away and blah, blah, blah. And he said, if you come down here, I got one for you. So I drove down there, picked it up. I got the Pro Controller, I got uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I've been playing a little bit, and uh, I haven't got too much into it, but i played a few hours of it, and I got a carrying case and a screen protector, and you know, everyone was happy because they, they I bought a lot of stuff, <laughs> but uh, I'm really happy to have this, and I'm looking forward to playing a lot of games on it, whether it be uh, finishing Zelda, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, when it comes out. Is it called Super Mario, or is it just Mario Odyssey? I don't know. Uh, Skyrim, and just games in the future. Because uh, Nintendo is actually, you know, compared to, like, Sony and Microsoft, they do a lot of stuff that, uh, yes, you can emulate on a PC, but doesn't quite have the same feel as having that actual console and playing on it. So I just wanted to do a video on this. I know I do a lot of computer stuff, but I do like console games as well. And I do plan on doing that type of content on this channel as well. And I wanted to share my story uh, because I thought some people who feel like they get ripped off by a GameStop all the time might appreciate that you could actually uh, use them to help you out sometimes if you uh, pay close enough attention to their promotions and use them uh, to your benefit. And uh, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.